Welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I am Matthew Gibbons. Rob Vanivere of Lesh 9. Gary Haddon's throat of Lesh 9. All right. So we were talking about poop. Yes. Feces. Yeah. Excrement. Poop. Ghosts. Ghosts. What else are we talking about? Banshees. Birds. Banshees. Have you seen that show? No. Aliens, spaceships. Aliens. Yeah. Six, I actually, I, I do have an alien story. Oh, actually. why don't you tell us? It's not an alien story. It's similar to what Gary had before. My buddy, back in the day, Brad Barker and I, we were young, so people kind of discredited us for this. We were uh, at Gladwin School. There was a hill there, and this, as stupid as this may sound, we used to like roll down the hill to get all dizzy. And get up and run around and fall. Yeah, that was fun. That's I that stuff. Terrible. So, yeah. um, so we were doing <laughs> that. You natural high when you were a kid. Right, right. right. Yeah. So we get back to the top and we see these white lights. Um, it was like definitely overcast out. So the the white lights look cloudy. Any races? Well, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so there was at first one went through the sky fairly fast, but then it was followed by, I believe, like four to six more. And that was it. But it wasn't a plane. It wasn't gas. It wasn't a balloon. It was like I know it what I solid. I know what I saw, and it's not what you usually see in the night sky. All right. And that that was it really. But nothing crazy. No anal probing or needles in the eye or anything. Well, you don't want any of those things happening. Yeah. Right. And just because I was tripping on acid doesn't mean I didn't see them things because that's why I told my brother. Dude, come the fuck out here and look in the sky. And when he seen the pattern, because there was like four of them, I think, right. and they flew in a cool pattern, and he just shit. He had tears coming down his eyes. And that motherfucker was straight, you know what I mean? He wasn't, he wasn't on what I was on, so. I don't know. It's all so, good. Let's move on. Anal, anal probing or uh, needle <laughs> in the eyes? I would do, I'd take the anal probe. So yeah. would I. Needle yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I've had needle in my eyes. So right. You have? Right. Yes, I've had. Yeah. Why yeah. would you have needles in your eyes? I'm blind in my left eye, so they did a lot of experimental things on me when I was a little kid, like I was a fucking guinea pig. However, cannabis wow. has really helped out his vision. Yes. He's, yeah. we, were driving down, we were driving down the street, he's like, Rob, look, I can actually see. There's a red light, there's two cars there, There's a, and he's blind in that eye. Yeah, and legally. Can, really? like, they, like, if the doctor says to you, like, legally blind, that means you can see three feet. So, like, I can see probably 35 now, or 40 maybe even. Mm -hmm. Watch TV, like, you know. Yeah, so it's called legally blind, but it's not. It's, but can, I can see now. And, it, and, and even my mom, who's like a douchebag, says to me, oh, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's a douchebag. But she says to me, like, okay. you know, you're a pothead, so you're a loser, whatever. But she's like, can I see what you can see now? Like, and she held up numbers, and I did this thing, and uh, she was like, wow, that's a miracle, you know? And then she's like, we must help your eye. And I Cannabis. was like, cool. So the, I said, why don't you try smoking some? And maybe it'll help you with your fucking disease. Yeah, she's got something wrong with her. Oh, I thought it was douchebag disease. Well, yeah. she is. <laughs> Nothing, there's no drug she's, there. a, <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a filled douchebag. Oh, needs yeah. to be plunged. Uh, but no, but no, she's... She, She's, she's a big got, fan of Better Rolls TV. She's too. got old timers <laughs> or something on her. she got something. She's fucked up. But let's move on. Okay. Has, has anyone it's ever called... It's a good Mother's Day story. Yeah, it's a good Mother's Day story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mother's Day, yes. <laughs> Fuck. I hate my mom. Alright. Has uh, anyone ever called the police on you guys for a stupid reason? <laughs> No. <laughs> Look at me. No, they never phone <laughs> Fuck. No, every time I walk by, like, some lady, she grabs her purse really tight. <laughs> um, actually, it was really cool, really. One night, we were listening to Headbangers Ball when it was on back in probably the early 90s or late 80s. And we were smoking a really big fucking joint. And these cops from my town who hated me and they busted me for DUI and drug offenses, so they knew who I was. They come to my door, not one, not two, but four of the fuckers. They knock on it, they open it up, but I have my hand on my door. I didn't know who, I, actually I did. I looked in the thing, I saw four cops, I'm like, fuck. Mm -hmm. So I open it up, but I have my hand on the door. And like this, right, like this. And the cops are like, damn, Mr. Haddon, you stink. And I'm like, you know, my hand's on like this, you know? yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it pretty stink, you know? And he's like, yo, you know what, man? You better lower that radio, because if not, we're going to come back with a warrant and bust your ass. I'm like, okay, fuck, sorry, you know? 
like turn around, lowered, headbanger, ball. But that was it. Some jerk off called the cops. They always do, man. I get broomsticks on my ceiling probably four times a week because loud music where I live. I can't help it. All my stuff is it's more childhood stuff, you know, throwing your egg, your rocks and tomatoes yeah. and cars and the cops show up because they know your dad, he's a firefighter, the cops and firefighters all know each other. Riding the dirt bikes all over the place. Come home, the cops waiting in the driveway for you. But nothing I, I've you know, in my adult life I've tried to, you know, reel it back and I just I just do those things, uh when it's appropriate, so I only when cops. someone really pisses me off, I'll throw a rock at their car. So. Yeah, <laughs> okay. You know, I hate cops. And if anybody ever like wants to know, like on my back, and like looks at the tattoo, and says, "What's that?" It says, "Pigs suck." <laughs> and when I get arrested, the cop says, "Do you have any tattoos on your on you?" And I yeah. say, "Oh um, yeah, I have a couple." Okay, go ahead and tell me what you got. So I do, and I say, "Pigs suck," and they're like, "What's that mean?" And I go. I don't like bacon. Yeah. <laughs> and they always know what that fucking yeah. is. <laughs> fucking jerk offs. You actually have a tattoo? Yeah, let me see it. Let me see. Yeah. So it's big oh, pink sock? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. fuck yeah. yeah, I got a for the camera. My best friend Greg tattooed it. Oh, wait, hold yeah. on. Right Where do you see it? I don't see it. Pigs suck right yeah. here. There you are. <laughs> Pigs suck. Yeah, man. Greg Lesh and I tattooed it with yeah. a fucking pen, Indian Neil. ink. Dude, One night, like, fucking all fucking coked yeah. up or something. It was fun. Now, have you guys ever uh, returned multiple items? Returned multiple items? No, yeah. I'm not a thief. Uh, I've returned multiple items, like bought shit and just taken yeah, it Yeah, yeah, like bought a bunch of shit and taken uh, a bunch of stuff. Nah, no. I, I, I claim responsibility for my purchases. Yeah. Okay. And I don't re-gift. I think That's uh, fucking not right. What's that? Regift? Oh, regifting. Oh, yeah, you guys, have you ever done that? No. Uh, I, don't think I, I don't think so. I have many times. I guess I could have found it, but I always either. find you for <laughs> some garbage that somebody gave me. So I just that. Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes that's when people give you stuff. It's like you know, you know, it's a, you already know that that's a re gift, so they right, right. need to bring it back. You know, like uh, wait, did we give them that toaster for their their uh, their anniversary or whatever? That they're giving it back. What yeah. the fuck's up with that? <laughs> All right, well, I guess the last and the most important question I have for you guys is, are you honored to appear on Metal Rolls TV, and why? Gary, you want to go first? Yeah, I am, actually. Um, I'm glad because just the recognition that we have had over the last um, six, eight months, seven months since October of 2012 when we rejoined, and uh, the people that remember Lesh 9 for who we were in 1989, 90, 91, and 92. We were one band that is unique and classic, and we will never um, change. We are who we are, and we are what we are. And there is no classification. So, yes, I'm very honored to be on here because, honestly, we've only been back for a few months. We played a few shows. Um, we're getting respect by opening up for Christian. You guys obviously mm. heard of us, and you want you asked us to come on here for some reason, <laughs> not just to <laughs> fill a space. I'm sure there's a lot of idiots you can fill a space <laughs> with, but I'm glad you did. You got um, on the show so yes. that's why I'm glad we're here. You know, so yeah, I, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, I didn't know of Metal Rolls until recently. <laughs> until recently. <laughs> uh, but now I know. Yeah. Um, now we can set the battle. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity to come on so we can discuss. People get to know us a little bit more. We get to meet you guys, uh, get to know you a bit, uh, n expand the relationships. Um, and you've, you know, you've had some great company in here on this couch, you know, and I'm, I'm proud to share the couch and these pillows. And any any <laughs> gas or anything that's been left behind There's from other plenty of fluids, plenty of fluids, fluids <laughs> gas, body <laughs> odor, yeah, right, all that stuff. So, swamp, swamp so, gas. so, well, so excrement has ever been in here. Right, I'm sure they right, left right. some fucking excrement yeah. or so, some so, feces uh, somewhere. I, I am honored. I am, I'm honored to to be here on this couch with you guys, and I appreciate the opportunity to to sit here and chat, drink some brew, and have a great time. All right. Well, now the floor is yours. Uh, you guys have anything you'd like to promote or talk about? 
any upcoming shows or right. uh, website, et cetera, et cetera? Right, right. We did just launch lesh9.com, so it's www.lesh hyphen nyan, L-E-S-C-H hyphen N-Y-H-A-N dot com. Uh, we'll be, you know, throwing up some uh, music there, some video. Uh, we're working on recording. Uh, it's taking some time sorting everything out. Uh, we, we have worked on new material. We have new material we play live. Um, we're still working on new material cool. to expand the catalog. Um, we still do play that 91 demo that everybody always rants and raves about and thank you for all that support. Um, uh, I came on board uh, shortly after that demo was released and I was a fan of the band and I had a great opportunity to, to join a band that you know I held in high regard uh, and, and idolized and uh, it, it's, just, it's just a cool time for us because after all this time we get back together, Facebook got, you know, Gary and I back together. It was like, yo, what do you think? And it's like, fuck yeah. Rush yeah. concert, actually, yeah. Clockwork Arm. John right. said the Clockwork Arm show, dude. Mm -hmm. Right. And you fucking said, yo, let's get Last Night back together. And I was... I still yeah. remembered all the material. It's like, bam, 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 bam. Uh, Fortunately, we reached out to the former members, and, you know, they're off onto other things, which is totally cool. Mad Jail. respect. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it happens, you know. Uh, so, Sorry. but fortunately, we came across some, some real talented guys, and we're psyched uh, to be working with Jimmy DiBattista, the other guitar player, Mark Visa, uh, uh, drummer, and uh, Chris Miller, bass player. So we're, we're psyched to move forward and extend this new chapter of Lesh Nine and, uh, and bring it all to you guys. All right. And that's basically what it's about, is actually where we left off, get it back. Right. And uh, all the new music that is out there and all that shit is, to me, is pretty much garbage. Um, my like music selection is very limited. So um, to be back with Lesh9 and doing what I love to do is fucking honor. I've been asked by someone locally to try out for their band and uh, that blew over and I'm glad it did because shortly after that I got hit up by this guy to start Lash 9 all over again. Right. That was, this hair was in my nose. My nose. <laughs> that's, that's from Maria. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is really awesome. <laughs> Since Lash Night is now back together, we have had multiple opportunities to do lots of things. Um, a lot of respect goes out to this band, and gratitude to all those who respect us for doing what we've done. Reviews I've read, I mean, people comparing The, the us. Brotherhood is awesome. You know, like the other bands, and get you know, reconnecting with guys that we haven't seen in a while. And, and, and it's funny how everything just comes back and you're still on that same level you know right. and uh th and that's been tremendous you know kaz grant from crucifier fuck i haven't seen that guy in 20 years it's like we see each other first time with that show milk boy and i'm like dude kaz you know great to fucking see you thanks for coming out that's incredible you know what's a good and it was just like i don't know the the the, the love and and the enthusiasm is just intoxicating, you know, yeah, so it's really cool. And I've reached out to many people back in the day when we've played with Incantation right. and Suffocation, so I've reached out to Terrence and I'm friends with that guy again and talking with him and uh, John McAtee and, you know, Funerous, you know, hail Funerous for fucking sake. Um, but anyway, you know, I don't know, there's a lot going on and we're just going to keep plugging away. We're working on it, get we're getting to there. where we want to be. And all we want to do is actually put out some music to make some fucking people think about life and fucking really just jam. Because I just like sitting at home and fucking jamming, head banging, I don't give a fuck if I'm by myself or where I'm at. But that's the music of Lesh Night. Gary's taking shit. Yes, <laughs> fuck that, man. Man, that's it, man. Just head back in. That's it. All, All right, well, guys. That's Thanks it. a lot, man. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. Anytime, sir. Anytime.